men's 4x100 metres relay final. First out, France. A little bow, a nod to the tradition of Japan. Dutambi, Vico, Zeze, and Fall. The Chinese look out for Su Bing Chan, but Wu Chi Chang, Ji Zhen Yi, and Lang Jin Sheng complete their quartet. Brazil could be dangerous. Do Nascimento, Vides Silva, and Camilo de Oliveira, the national champion. Watch out for these guys as too, as well. Looks like they've learned to use chopsticks this week. <laughs> Dizalu, Jacobs, Manetti, and Tortu. The Italians always appreciate fine food. The United States, Mike Rogers, Justin Gatlin, Isaiah Young, and Noah Lyles will be on the anchor. He's been making some music this week. Great Britain, the world champions from London. <laughs> and after four, CJ Uja, Harry Akin Zariti, Adam Jamili, and Nathaniel Mitchell Blake. The Jamaican contingent in the crowd cheer out their quartet who kept it cool, Nesta Carter, Julian Fort, Rashid Dwyer, Nigel Ellis, made a couple of adjustments to their lineup late in the day. We'll wait and see how that affects them as the Turks are the last out. Well, and if they planned something, half the team forgot it. <laughs> Well, it is a big occasion, so you can forgive them for getting a little bit nervous out there. Guliev, they just need him to give the, they just need his team to give him the bat within reach because he's so fast at finishing relay legs. And he did the same thing last night. He looks fantastic. He's in shape. We know he's in shape. He won in Doha Diamond League in the 200 meters. He's a bit of a character. Tortu, the Italian. Isn't he a bit of a star? And he's racing again. You know, they're standing there. They were the 2016 World Juniors medalists, first and second. Noah Lyles taking the first and Torturi the silver medal. And I think that's the future of sprinting. You know, they've been looking for someone to fill the shoes of Bolt. And are these the two men that are going to do it? Well, Noah Lyles is a bit of a character. He's dropped his music, his single yesterday. Get on and have a listen to it. It's, it's a pretty good song. I quite you, like it. You liked it. You were, you were tapping along in the car. I the did way enjoy the it. I did enjoy it. <laughs> uh, it'll be good to see Lyles on the on the anchor leg as well. He he did that very well for uh, America in the 4x1 at the World Under 20s. He has a tattoo below his rib cage, and it's the word icon as a statement of what he wants to become. And he's well on his way, I think especially in the sport of track and field. Well, there'll be high hopes for Britain. Fantastic uh, couple of years in uh, relays. CJ Uja, Harry Akin Zariti, who anchored a European success. Oh, and I'm a huge fan. It's weird seeing him down the back straight because I'm so used to seeing him finish and he's a personal trainer. Could you imagine having him as your personal Ooh. trainer? He was discovered playing British Bulldogs, which is that game you play as kids where you try and make it from one side to the other without being tackled. Gosh, I can see why he was good at that. Ada Jamili and the familiar figure of CJ Uja on the lead-off leg. And there's the man who held him off to take a goal for Great Britain. And Nathaniel Mitchell Blake focused for the anchor leg for a team who saw it all go awry on the last leg in the Bahamas two years ago, they learnt their lesson from that to great effect later that year. We arrive here as a team to watch as we squeeze it past the French and Dudambi. There's Xinyang of China, Do Nascimento of Brazil, Desilu of Italy. Mike Rogers of the United States with the fluorescent headband. 
CJ Uja of Great Britain. The Jamaicans have Nesta Carter on the opening leg. Emre Zafa Barnes for Turkey. With Ramel Guliev on the anchor. And they run from lane two on the inside. On your mark. So it comes down to this. Turkey, Jamaica, Great Britain, the US, Italy, Brazil, China, and France. Okay, line up quickly, please. Jamaica, are your blocks okay? Thank you. So a little question mark there being asked. Uh, or a question being asked to Nesta Carter about whether his blocks are okay. Seems to be content, so they can settle back down once more. So here we go with Turkey in two, Jamaica in three, Great Britain in four, US in five, Italy six, Brazil seven, China eight, and France in nine. Four by 100 meters relay for men. Last event of these world relays. World Champions Britain with CJ Uja, with Mike Rogers in his sights. Rogers has made a strong start, first changeover. Gatlin back straight for the United States, anchored them last time. China looking good on the outside as well. Britain still hanging in there, Aiken Tarite sends Jamelia away. US with a bad hand over there. Isaiah Young has lost some space. So Great Britain with Jamini looking good coming into the home straight. China are under as well. The crucial final handover. It's a poor one from Britain. Mitchell Blake's got some work to do. China are out there. The US are trading, but Lyles is coming on strong. But it's going to be a big victory for Brazil. Unbelievable. <laughs> Camilo de Oliveira, he held off the big guns. And that's a sensational way to conclude this. He's looking up at the screen to hang on and wait and see. Lyles was coming on very strong at the finish. I think his face tells you everything. This face tells you he's a winner. Yes, he knows it now. Wow. Brazil have done it. The stadium where they lifted the World Cup and they've just won at the World Relays. Wow, well, they were sixth in the 4x1 in their home country of Rio. We've said they've had such a great weekend in the relays here, and they've just caused a huge upset. There were two athletes in that World Junior Final that we were talking about, the Tortu and Lyles were in, and one of them ran a fantastic leg. The third leg runner, Silva, was fantastic. Look at the emotion, they're ecstatic. Well... <laughs> There was a lot going on on that last handover. It was a little bit messy for Great Britain. The United States, Gatlin to Young had not gone well back earlier in the race, so plenty of uh, the other teams are left to just consider what quite happened. But a moment for the Brazilians to say a prayer of thanks because they've just taken a fantastic victory in the world relays ahead of the US and Great Britain, beaten out in the second and third. The Jamaicans push all the way back down into sixth place. The Brazilian girls have stayed out to salute the Brazilian boys. Amazing scenes to end these world relays. So many big names to watch, so many we didn't even, even really get to Guliev. Wow. And Brazil in this moment win their first ever world relays race title. What a fantastic race for the four Brazilian lads. They're ecstatic, they ran so well. They've obviously trained their baton changes to make them nice and slick. There are, a few ch there are a few problems, like you mentioned, Tony, in trust issues in those changes, and I'm sure a lot of the teams will go back and they'll get their biomechanists to look over all those changes and see where they went wrong. But it looked like the Brazilians just had so much trust in each other, so much faith in their passes, and they stretched them out and they really took the risk that you need to do to, to finish on top in a 4 by 100 but they trusted each other and they made sure that they kept those changes smooth. This is how they did it. And the Chinese athlete, Wu, had a fantastic first leg. 
you can just see here's where we see a, a problem with the American change. There was just a bit of self-doubt here in the middle lanes of the dark blue strip. Just, he looks around and you never ever want to look around in a four by one. And the last change with Jamili to Mitchell Blake was where they had a bit of trouble as well, where they slowed down just there, hesitate and you can't hesitate. But the Chinese and Brazilians on the outside were running just fantastic. The four of them ran beautifully. De Oliveira actually really stormed away, didn't he? Because the Chinese looked like they just had a metre or two on the field into that home leg. Well, but De Oliveira produced the race and the leg of his life, and he doesn't quite know initially when he crossed the line. Does he, he, can he believe it <laughs> that he's held off Noah Lowe's, he's held off uh, Mitchell Blake? Well, he's in shape. He's run a 10.02 personal best this, equal personal best this year, and he is an athlete to watch in the individuals looking forward to the world champs. But that excitement across his face, he's almost run as fast as he He's done the run <laughs> another 100 metres back again. Pure emotion. And then they collapse onto the track. And this is a lap of honour that they will never forget and that the World Relays will never forget. The US, the winners two years ago, beaten this time. The world champion British team, third on this occasion. They might wonder what might have been if they'd just clicked on the last handover. But a thumbs up from them for their experience here in Japan. We're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Mariokins, Arite, and these boys are very good. And so are their officials and support staff outside. It's a moment of high emotion for Brazil. Beautiful scenes to see when you see the support network just in as much, feeling as much emotion as the team that's out there because they know the blood, sweat and tears that goes into being an elite athlete and they live and breathe it every day with them. Victory for Brazil in a world leading time. The, the British had actually set the world lead for 2019 in the heats, but overhauled by the 38.05 of Brazil, US, Noah Lyles and co. Second. Oh no, and Jamili's just putting ice on his leg. We don't want to see that. We do not yeah. want to see that because he's had, a few, he's had a few issues in the past. He didn't line up in the Commonwealth Games relay final or in the final of the 100 meter at the Commonwealth Games through injury. He's a quality athlete, a star athlete, so we don't want to see him being too injured. So hopefully it's not too bad. What a way to finish this World Relays. The men's four by 100 meters. It goes to Brazil, their first ever success at a World Relays, beating out the United States and Great Britain into second and third respectively. Jamaica all the way down in sixth. The Italians didn't get it round. The Turks bring up the rear, but this is Brazil's moment.